Uh, there was a moment of very, very strong self restraint for me. I'm proud I'll of you. I'll tell you what it is. Okay. Well, I'm still proud of you. Thanks. I'm proud of me too. Anytime, bestie. <sighs> yeah. Sometimes. I'm... Sometimes things sound sarcastic. Mm hmm. Those are one of those times. Oh, I, I didn't mean that sarcastically at all. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. I meant, I, I, I mean, I guess I did. It was like a joke. Mm -hmm. But also, if you did with, like, hold back on saying something that you had, like, an urge to say, yeah, good job. I'm proud of you. That's not easy. I know. <laughs> I, I, um, I, sh I should clarify that this is both half a bit and not. Okay. Because I, I am being just a silly goose right now, I suppose. That's fair. <laughs> Clash of the I chism. Am, I am... <laughs> I, I am but a silly goose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also a frog. Yes. I would like to be a cool... I know, frogs are cute, man. Frogs are cute. Well, some frogs are. Not, not to say that I am the kind of girly that can just grab a frog by the with my hand. No, I, I see. I was imagining not like I'm the kind of girly you can just uh, poke, uh, was it perch myself on a rock and sit there for three hours. I probably could. Yeah, I was gonna say I think you could. I, I probably could. Like if if it's a, if it's a warm warm enough spot but like somewhat shaded i have water and i have my phone and access to wi-fi yeah i could perch yeah <laughs> living my frog tour thing life that's th thing that's normally uh, uh uh in abundance in the forest wi-fi yes <laughs> i mean these days kind of <laughs> Probably. Well, that's not too far in, yeah. Like, it's it should be alright. Yeah. Uh, and I guess if you have Starlink, you could still get Wi-Fi anywhere. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of funny. I'm just imagining myself perching like a frog now. Mm-hmm. I actually knew another uh, lady who was super into frogs. Yeah? Yeah. Scottish woman. Also autistic. Yeah, here and we just tend to converge together, don't we? Yeah, like I said, you, neurodivergence of all sorts just sort of coalesce. Somehow it's like the birds of a feather thing. But also I wonder if it's because neurodivergents are much more used to and much more happy to, to um, accommodate each other than... That's exactly it. That, that's, yeah. that's it. We feel more comfortable around each other. Like, um, I'm sorry I'm not the type to double speak with people. I am. Yeah. I say what I say. I mean what I say. Unless, unless I'm deeply uncomfortable with something, and then in which case I am totally not saying what I mean. Right. Like it's not like you can't have the ability to do these things. It's like I'm actually a pretty, like, good liar and actor, but I don't really care to do that. It's exhausting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Tiring. Yeah. Wearing a mask is exhausting. Man, maybe that's why I was just so deeply exhausted every time in college. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Oh. On top of the fact that I was always acting like a straight normie in school, too. Yep. Oh. There's so much explaining it right now. Yeah. Oh. But you don't need to be on the spectrum to have to mask yourself. Queer people have to do yeah. that in some cultures, too. Yeah. Man. Hi, Koita. 
I love when she looks at me from like, um, like from from the from the bottom of a table or whatever, so I can only see the the top bit of her head and her ears. Mm hmm. Top top tier. Top ear. Yes. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. Funny. It's man. Funny. Yeah, I'm very funny. I'm the that's how you know I'm the jokes guy. I'm and I'm here as the reactions guy. Ah yes, Bob reacts. Just all these exaggerated yeah. facial expressions. Oh. Uh. Bob review channel when? Whenever you have the like energy to do it, I guess. Oh, you're right. Bop reviews manga that she's read. Totally. It sucks. <laughs> 3 out of 10. Do not read this one. I've had an idea for something like that. Like, not, not reviewing anything, but like, uh... What positions itself as a video essay, but it's kind of a swerve. Like, I don't what? have a... Yeah, like... Uh, what would be a good uh, example. example? Yeah, I, I I don't have anything at the top of my head right now. Um, it's okay. Um, is it? What would be? What would you be reviewing? I, I guess. Okay, this this is a weak one. It's not really reviewing. It's like it, it positions itself as a video essay, but then it sort of is, is a swerve. Okay. Where, like, the, you know, the thumbnail and the title imply it'll be a video essay. It's got a length of 30 minutes, something like that. Mm -hmm. But, okay, let's say, is there ethical consumption under capitalism? And it's, it's presented like a video essay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and it just, uh, it starts with me, like, looking down at a piece of paper and writing. Then I look over at the mm -hmm. camera. Uh, no. No. And then cut to credits. <laughs> I don't know. That's actually okay. It's kind of weak, but it's also pretty funny. I was wait. I was expecting it. <laughs> of course, you can come back after the credits and actually explain your argument. But I really like the idea of just like uh, no, no, and that that's it. <laughs> that's a good shorts idea, though. Mm -hmm. Well, TikTok idea. I really hate that there's like um I have this compulsion to call the media by what it's branded under. That's normal. Yeah, people do that. Like I I, I still sometimes call annoying. tissue paper Kleenex. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Or like bandages band-aids. Yeah. Yeah, like Branding is powerful. Yeah, I suppose. I guess what's more speaking of like um um like like TikTok. Mm -hmm. TikTok or YouTube shorts. They're still videos, they're just short form videos. Yeah, short form videos. But I kind of have to call them by what I what platform I it, it comes from. Okay. Like I I just call them shorts. Yeah, I know. That seems like a good Overall descriptor, I think YouTube nailed it. To be fair, or well, I sort of, I don't know. It's it's like because I I have this compulsion to like um, how like like to separate where the meme is sourced from. If I'm source, if if, if I'm sending it to someone, right? Are, are you the worried TikTok about is... stolen meme valor? No, I'm not. It's it's you, idiot. <laughs> no, I, I don't know why I feel so com so so like com like um like I have to I have to say that it's a TikTok. Okay. It's a video. What these things are are videos. Yeah. Like and and TikTok has like broken its um short form. It sure has. Um. 
uh, short form media value by like offering its uh, creators the option to go for either um, well, well for for longer than a minute. Like people have been making ten minute videos, yep. which I kind of hate. I'll be real. I mean, it's the, it always... the whole, yes, the name itself is meant to imply that you have to be be quick. Yeah. Which I also hate on top of like um, because I know the way I talk is annoying, but I try to get to the point when I have a point, mm -hmm. and I'm not just um, uh, rambling about the events of the thing I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't like to waste people's time in general. You're just excitable. Yes, I am. I am excitable. It's very cute. Especially when it's about a media that I love. Yes. Because I want to include every little thing about the thing mm -hmm. that I love. I'm the same way. I, I had a little mini rant about Berserk earlier, out of nowhere. Yes. Yes. Nerd. Mm -hmm. I should get a coffee before we get into the game, or I'm going to get tired in like three hours. Mm -hmm. Do you mind, Hi, uh... Crimson. Yeah, I say you yeah, mind looking after chat? Yeah. Hey, Crimson, I'll be back in a bit. Get your coffee, dude. Um, he used to be chat. I could shit talk him a lot. Um, because he... He used to have wired earphones. Now he has his Bluetooth back. Not that it's gonna stop me from shit talking him. Um, but you know. How are you, Crimson? And you! Hi, Pyrvar. Uh, we're a chat? No, you're a chat. You're the chat. <laughs> Sidebar. Sometimes Dawn bullies me, and then I tell, and then I say out loud. <laughs> chat, he's bullying me. <laughs> I think there's an actual chat right now, which there isn't. And I didn't have to tell y'all that. I could have kept that to my grave, but I thought that was a very funny thing. You guys would appreciate it. Because <laughs> it is funny, to me at least. <laughs> Talking to the non existent chat at that point. No streams happening. But, you know. Just because I'm a certified yapper. It just means I talk a lot. Like, I can and will talk unless someone stops me. Or I feel petty. I don't want to talk. In which case, I won't. But it's usually more effective to annoy someone with my voice. <laughs> See? Doing it right now. You're definitely not for honoring right now. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You're, um, for dishonoring. Yeah. Nailed it. For dishonoring is Call of Duty? That's pretty good. Oh, man. You know, <clears throat> okay. Um, Sliding back to reality as in the real news right now. Like, um, ha I, like, um, in the last month or so, there have been a lot of people in political, in, in, um, in the, uh, well, in politics who have died in different countries. Yeah. And, and, and some people on the TikToks are like, huh, is this a CIA thing? Are they doing something like this? And it's sort of like, Man, you, your U.S. governments are really fucking nosy, aren't they? Oh, yeah. That people are immediately sus of you. Well, the CIA quite be a CIA operation. has been doing so much clandestine shit for so long. It's yeah. ridiculous. Like, like, I'm not saying it's an, it's an unearned um, reputation. Yeah, no. It's just crazy that it's an earned reputation. 
Yeah, like, it's, it's obviously conspiratorial thinking without more evidence, but, mm. like, the fact that you can even... Like, reasonably just attribute anything to the CIA speaks volumes. Yeah. Like, man, y'all are nasty. <laughs> Shit. My favorite thing about the CIA is their absolute and repeated failure to kill Fidel Castro. <laughs> they have tried... They have tried fucking, like, Wiley Coyote assassinations on him. Like, none of really? it worked. Yeah. The best one is they uh, got in touch with his ex-wife, or girlfriend, no. I can't remember, and no. sent her over there to reconcile with him and then kill him in bed. But he figured it out and put her on the spot and, like, gave her a gun or something. And she couldn't do it, and then he made love to her and sent her on her way. No! <laughs> he even fucked her! Oh, yeah. That's the story. The story is he... Yeah. Batman has a charisma score of plus eight. Yes, he. Right. Yes, he's the most charming. It's ridiculous, and he looks like <laughs> such a fucking doofus dad man. Like he's not even good looking. Did he end up dying of medical stuff? Yeah, he just died of being sick. <laughs> but look into the history of failed assassination attempts. It's oh. astounding. God, that's so fucking funny. Oh, and all this to protect um the rich people. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, all this to like take back Cuba and get its resources. Uh, although, and in other news, um, because of apparently the U, the the, the U.S. is um stubborn stubbornness on making uh the Arab government recognize Israel as a as a as as its own state as its own country right they've they've dropped the petroleum agreement between them to 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 um keep the transaction in the u s dollars so that's no longer a thing now mm. apparently like well, that's interesting that would make it no longer the most powerful eventually i suppose most powerful currency I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not smart enough about these things. Well, are we talking about like the Arab League? Are we talking about the Arab League or like a specific country? Yeah. Um, elaborate. What do you mean? Like, are we talking about like Saudi Arabia, or are we talking Saudi about Arabia? Yeah. Okay. Or like the League of I'm Arabic Nations Arabia. or whatever it is. Uh. -uh. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. Because he just said Arabic. Uh, Arabia or Arabic or something, and I'm like, that's oh, sorry. I that could be a Arabia. bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. that's cool. Look. That's why I asked. Hi, baby. I mean, they did do a United yeah. States of America and just named themselves after the region, like. Yeah. It's not the investment, but the resources. The resources don't hurt. You're talking about Cuba, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, and and on that, on TikTok, a lot of people are like, "Yeah, well, the USA will still survive. We are our own, um, we are our own gasoline, um, um, whoa, gasoline. Good job, Bob. Gasoline. Gasoline. <laughs> well, gasoline and petroleum producer, and I'm like, yeah. USA, known producer of, of gas and pet I mean, petrol. They, I mean, true. Yes, they are. But They're not, not but much. They're more known for taking shit. Yes, from they countries for that resource. Yeah, they need a lot of raw petrol, which they get from like Arabia and Canada. Yes. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a funny thing, is all. Yeah. Take I mean, care, like, the oil, like, the whole, the the really stupid thing for me is like. We'll be fine. We'll just keep refining oil as though, like, other energy technologies are not swiftly replacing it. Mm -hmm. Like, to the point um, where, like, I wouldn't have believed five years ago. Mm -hmm. Even in America, wind is really doing gangbusters these days. Yeah. God. 
sort of crazy how much we actually have in terms of natural resources to form. And I yeah. don't even mean like, sorry, like I, I mean natural resources, I mean natural sources of energy. Yeah, totally. We don't need to burn There's anything. Can do that. Hmm. Like we could burn some fucking nuclear matter here and there, but we don't really have to even do that if we don't want to. Well, we'll see how fucked up we'll be in like 10 years. We're probably already deeply fucked, but you know. Yeah. Now, on to less depressing things. The video game. Almost. Gotta go check on my copy. Oh man, you're right. Yeah. Oh, you can't in your capable hands. Meanwhile, I'm having my a banana. Because I felt like it. Mm. And... I think <clears throat> I've only ever heard of um people talk about the um Cavendish banana um from well people who live in the west for here where I live we have like so many variants of bananas it's sort of crazy my dad was what I would call a banana freak he could have Banana fritters for breakfast. Banana, um... It's a kind of pancake, but it's not pan... But it's not pancake. There's no rising agent. It's just flour and water. And... Uh, he'd put... He, he, he put sliced, um... Uh, bananas in there. Um... He could, he could have... A different kind of banana fritters for tea. Uh, I got your banana fritter right here. Huh? I got your banana fritter right here. It's cream. To imply... It's cream filled. You know banana fritters are fried, right? And delicious, like my dick. Best yet, hope you wouldn't be frying your your your, your dick. That would be that sounds real painful, Bestie. <clears throat> I mean, that wasn't like a necessary part of the analogy. But fritters, fritters mm -hmm. are fried. Yes. It's it's banana in batter and fried, specifically. I mean, if you want to go down that route, pipe is rusty. Yes. When he contacts water. But like pretty much every analogy will fall apart not if you want it. Not all the pipes. But not all the pipes do. <laughs> you can use PVC pipes. <laughs> you gotta get those microplastics up in your cooch. Yeah. And that would still work because laying down the pipes yeah. works still. So banana fritters <laughs> doesn't work. Am I, am I being... Am I, am are, you being being wo are you being wound up like a toy? Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> it doesn't work, I tell you. It doesn't work, I tell you. Bob's my best friend, just to make this clear. <laughs> we get along very well. Alright, let's move to the game. Thanks for taking care of chat. You actually did a really good job, especially the first time. Yeah, because I'm a certified yapper. Yeah, I was thinking, man, you're just naturally so much better at monologuing than I am. You even took, like, a bomb and turned it into, like, a decent joke. I was impressed. <laughs> I even took a what? Oh, a bomb. Like, you said something and it, and then there's like that beat where it's like, wow, that wasn't funny at all. And then you just saved it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not a criticism. I do that like every day. <laughs> no, no. Although, there was 
no thinking involved in anything that I said just now. It was all just turning off the. Yep. I was mentioning Kathleen Devere earlier, and that's mm -hmm. her way of like improving. Mm -hmm. Describes it as uh, unhinging the jaw of her brain and just letting it go. Yeah. Basically, that was that was what was going on. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and you're you're welcome, everyone. Now you are all inflicted with <clears throat> the horror that is my brain. Well, I see horror. It comes up with cool things sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like the beginning of te teleportation. Well, teleportation, por teleportation slash portal travel. Um, and it's limited in the sense that you can't really open a portal from, say, Malaysia and head straight to the uh, Canada's or the U.S. Yeah, my fi my favorite uh, <clears throat> my favorite part of the world, the Canada's. Yeah, the Canada's. I like that. Look, at least I didn't say it like my like my um, one hit wonder favorite BB no no money sign <laughs> Canada. Canada, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he says it so weird in that one song. I mean, the original Canada. word is Canada, right? Oh, never mind. So I guess he's not saying it that weirdly. No, that the word is I think it's Lakota is the language, and it just means the village. Oh. Yeah, we got our name by a guy mistranslating a word. Oh, god damn. Well, yes, then. And I guess it's not that word, I'm sorry. That's alright. Nobody says it that way. Yeah. Right, so Arden... If you had a nickel for every Uchiha clan emblem and charring gun people put on their emblems, mm. would you be rich by now? I imagine. I imagine you would be rich by now. Careful. The giant patrol head. I like the idea of somebody doing that, but they've got uh, enough um, humility to just make it like a single point normal Sharingan. It's nothing special. Mm -hmm. Is it a Tomoe? Likely there's enough of them. Is Tomoe the, the name for it? Yeah, for more. Yeah. The shape. Oh, jeez. My first time oh, lucky. reading through, I didn't even notice the Tomoe thing, and that, like, Sasuke just got more of them. I only noticed that my second mm. time. How did you get there and the other just didn't? Uh, rock slide. We got separated. Now I can go make an athletics oh. check to get out. Or? Or just deal with him on my own. Is that something you can go through? That, that, that bit of the hole? It looks like you can go through that. Nope. Really? Nah. It would have like a, mm -hmm. a thing to use it or make a mobility check or something like that. Gotcha. Like, yeah. Yeah, this engine is much simpler than Baldur's Gate 3. Can you handle the giant on your own? Oh yeah. If that's just like a normal hill giant especially. Let's see what it is. Okay, it actually has class levels. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, you say so. I mean, you've got pretty good sneak attack. Oh wait, no, you're not an actual rogue. Never mind. No. I take that back. We're a probably... yeah. Are we? No, we're, uh, we're a... Oh, oh no, 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 the... No, no, we're Inquisitor. the Inquisitor. Mm -hmm. Inquisitor yeah. Umbral Stalker. That's the one. Let's see what's over here. Maybe there's like a second way to get back to them. Hey! Keep your eyes open! There's giants ahead! We'll cover you. Oh! Alright. He 
You can't see shit though, that's funny. I guess they're blind. Is this like a sneaky mission? Kinda. It's like if you've got the athletics to dig that out, which we don't. Then you can get your party. Otherwise, yeah. Sneaky, sneak, sneak. This is an interesting um, section. Yeah. Seeing what abilities I have access to to make this easier. There it is. What is that? Invisibility. Awesome. Yeah, that would make things easier here, right? That's what I was looking to see. Fell the tree. I guess it doesn't require you to make a check. dark, but we don't have light. Oh, no, we do. Oh. We're a halfling. Uh -huh. We don't have dark vision, do we? Nope. We have the light spell. Cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know where the rest of the party went. They're still behind there, we just can't see them. Yeah, alright. I think. Can we go up past that guy? Nah, I tried yeah. to see if I could get up there. I think this will lead us there eventually. I am so invisible, how dare you? Okay, he didn't see me, never mind. That was just a cutscene, I suppose. Yeah, I thought he was going Show to, you... like, ring the thing. Like... Yeah, me too. I see a halfling. But no, thankfully not. Like, I am so invisible, hey! I'm so incredibly invisible right now. Right, he was offering to cover me against this guy. I can. I am unfortunately yeah. a save scummer. How do we get up there? I don't know. I was expecting to see a mobility check. Or climb or an athletics check. Climb. Huh. Wait, get across? What was that? You did a turn and there was a red... Get across. Yeah, over here. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Alright, let's go back towards the other guy. How much time do we have left on the invisibility? Minute and a half. Hmm. Nice. Nice sort of caches. If we walk up against him, he'll still notice us, so. Because of the light spell, probably. Uh, the light spell gives you a penalty to sneak, but invisibility still makes up for it. Nice camp lies beyond the gates. Attacking them without preparation is tantamount to suicide. Agreed. This is unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. I thought I could get by on there. Oh, nice concealment. Yeah, I'm invisible. <clears throat> I just need to get away from him. Mm -hmm. He can't take an AOO on me either. Huh? 
How did he know? Is it the light spell on top of your head? That's because I got too close and like bumped into him. Oh. No, I mean, how did he know that you were there? Like he came up to. Oh. Never mind. Oh, that. Oh, uh, once you detect somebody uh, in combat, you're aware of the square that they're in. Oh, okay. It isn't always that way in actual D and D, but in, in this game, it is. He says here quickly, but I know I where I don't know. Can you jump? No, there's no jump. There's no such thing, right? No, it would be a prompt for athletics or mobility. Climbing down this steep slope would not be very difficult, but getting back up would be impossible. Hmm. You're trying to avoid becoming okay. giant food. Yes! Also, hi, dudes. I'm not sure. Unworthy servant. Would have been nice if I had the ath athletics to actually just dig that fucking rock slide out. Yeah. Upper invisibility. Oh, Penta. I love that. Yeah, Penta rules. Also, the uh, I, I chose uh, for Dumerian companion class for um, uh, Midnight Isles run, okay. and it's it's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm. Like, it's a bard, but cool. using int instead of charisma, which just kind of puts all of their class features on one ability score. Instead of two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Do I have to go down? Well, we already saved. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Yeah. Fuck it. No idea, even Neo Seeker has nothing useful. Oh, they were down here, okay. Oh. Yeah, it looks like we broke away. Let's take a breather. That's the brother, I think. That's the brother. I see you've returned alive, Arden. The voice of a young Kellid marching towards you is devoid of happiness. What happened to those we sent with you? Those who believed in your plan? Where are they? Tell me, brother. They're dead, Tokum! Arden looks defiantly at his brother's eyes. But at least we tried! How dare you accuse me when your best plan is to sit quietly and wait for them to devour us one by one! Ugly defensive, aren't you, Arden? Jokum carefully looks you over. And who is this? And... Stop. Someone else is coming. 
Well, introductions will have to wait. The giants are coming. Uh, try not to draw any attention to yourselves. I am invisible. Oh. It's the rest of my party, though. Oh, nice! I understand. Okay. Wait, I understand. I think the small disguise won't hurt us. Fantastic yeah. chance to spell. Hey, welcome, Godfather. Hi, Godfather. How are the cuties? Yes, hello. Don't mind the guy with the wizard hat. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Kellid standing beside the giant chieftain does not look as exhausted as his tribesmen. He's clearly better fed and not burdened with hard labor. The giant lets out a series of unintelligible growling screams, which the Kellid translates. Today, several prisoners tried to escape. Every fugitive was caught and killed. Our hosts have not taken anyone for dinner in recent days, but catching fugitives is hungry work. Yikes. The giant nods to the translator, who approaches the Kellid crowd. The translator thoughtfully examines the tribe's people. Each prisoner grows visibly nervous from his gaze as it lingers on them. Search your mind for currently in the gutter, interpreting that sentence differently than the intended context. Which one? Penta's combat voice lines are the best. So far, I just really like Penta. Mm -hmm. I was programmed to... for, for um, absolute obedience and politeness. I have mastered only one of these. <laughs> That's true. Oh, the giants are coming. Yes. Uh. Yeah, no. And cuties includes you, Godfather. You. You, nerd. Trust me, Pop likes goofy looking white guys with beards. Oh my God. <laughs> Leave me alone. You. The translator gaze stops on your party. He spends a long time examining you before turning to your companion, and finally abruptly points to a Kellid standing next to Sendry. This is bullying. Chad, he's bullying me. Chad, I'm being bullied. Damn! Hey, yeah. Fucking axe handle! I can't tell if the translator is some kind of traitor to his own people. He is. Like, even if he doesn't... didn't intend to, he is. No one made him be a translator. Sentry moves to help the unfortunate Caliph and Rickard stomps in his foot and hisses. That's a you thing. Yeah, it's me. Don't move. Freeze. Kill us all! <laughs> Freeze! Freeze! God, his, I'm sorry, David Hater, but his line of saying, freeze. Yeah. He's so... Freeze. Iconic. But well, also, like, it's yeah. so goofy. Yeah. Like, Snake is such a good voice. It's both silly and serious. It's very memorable. Mm -hmm. The giant begins to disperse. But the giants begin to disperse. The giant does not disperse. As funny as that would be. Just turns into a bunch of butterflies. Mm -hmm. The giants begin to disperse. Oh, and the translator approaches you once again. Hey, you! With a furtive look around, the translator whispers, We should talk. I live over there. Come in. Just be quiet. And this is how they consume us, one by one. You're right about one thing. We can no longer wait. We need a plan. Tokum looks at you again. I don't know what you are. I don't know who you are or how you got in here. 
but you seem like experienced warriors. Come with us. We'll discuss how to get out of here. <laughs> Dastard! I've never heard somebody call someone else a dastard. Yeah. I could swear the word dastard is in its own... It has to be. If dastard leave... I mean, I mean, I mean it is. You, you could... That, hmm. That dastard leave something something is all I usually hear, hear the word used. Yeah, yeah, same. But, like, it probably does mean something. It's just I haven't heard it. Mm -hmm. You dastard. Oh, we're just piled onto each other. Mm. Sweet. Awkward. Y'all stop standing on each other's squares. No. I've worked a success. Rays of light break through the cave's bolts, creating an unusual picture a picture, lush green under lush greenery underground. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this close. this is uh, uh, Jabram, the character that I made. Mm -hmm. Uh he's an oath breaker, and he's gonna have some very useful tools for us. Okay. Uh, in particular, Oathbreaker's Direction. It's basically uh, unlimited numbers per day smite effect, but it doesn't affect himself. Oh. So at first level, Oathbreaker has a move action. Uh, can indicate an enemy in combat and rally his allies to the target. The Oathbreaker... Okay, mm -hmm. it does affect himself. It's a move action. That's the difference. Uh, and his allies gain a plus one bonus on weapon... Attack and damage rolls against the target. Uh, fuck off. Uh, the Oathbreaker Destruction Lab. Okay, never mind. This is actually more like studied target. Mm hmm. It's, um. Apparently, Dastard can mean a dishonorable person, a despicable person, or straight up a coward. Okay. Yeah. I just didn't expect it to be able to be used on its own. This is what I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. Oathbaker's Bane. And Oathbreaker in particular... Oathbaker. Oathbaker. Oathbaker's bread. Uh, uh, an Oathbreaker's... I can swear to, break, to bake this bread. Mm-hmm. Sorry. You're just... That's just an isekai. You just invented mm -hmm. one. Like, I will... I solemnly swear to bake my way to the throne of the kingdom. Uh, an Oathbreaker in particular, Ruth... Uh, ruthless against those who harm their allies. Once per day is a swift action. Uh, channel your anger, blah blah blah. Add your charisma modifier to your attack roll, and your Oathbreaker level the damage, just like a smite. Uh, but it has no, like, alignment restrictions. The only thing is it has to be an enemy that's in melee combat with an ally. Or yourself. Oh. It's a pretty handy one. Yeah. Max is watching you move the mouse, the mouse around while reading. Perfect. I hope she doesn't lunge at the monitor. Yeah, that would be suboptimal. I don't push her when Koja does that. I do trim her nails, but nails and screens don't often go well together. Okay, so this makes us look like normal ass killers. Cool. I was wondering what the disguise was meant to be. Yes. Hi. <laughs> yeah, speaking of human barbarians, hello cat. I do love how she must announce her presence. <laughs> Cat's cute. That's where the translator is, but where's Arkham. And also, because I'm not in her vicinity, she's now in my vicinity now. Mm hmm Oh well. Okay. Go meet the translator and see what he has to say for himself. You dastard. <sighs> you get there. 
Oh, apparently I just missed the path. <clears throat> ah, here you are. So, there's a brain in that head of yours after all. I know everyone in the tribe by sight. Your faces may, may have been modified by magic, but they still don't belong to any of us. Hold on, my mouse isn't working. You don't trim Max's nails because you're afraid of her potential response. Yes. I get that. Yeah. I only trim Koja's nails because she's a relatively calm cat. She does like to... Um... Yeah, this mouse is... Maybe I need to replace it. Hmm. Oh, there we go, at least for now. Do all traders have such a good memory for faces, or just you? Oh, spare me. When death is at hand, it's every man for himself. The translator spits on the ground and angrily smears it with his foot. The giants chose me for the cauldron on the very first day. If I hadn't said something in their language, my flesh would have been cut from my bones long ago. I mean, fair enough. Ah, who am I kidding? I don't really say- I don't really- <laughs> I don't know, I would rather die than continuously be the person who chooses- Other people to die? My tribe to die. Uh-huh. Yeah. Why did you call us? Not to sit here and chat about the weather. I know your secret. You could say I hold your fate in my hands. Be smart. If you want me to keep quiet, let's make a deal. You help me, I help you. You know how it goes. What are you proposing? I heard that the brothers are starting a rebellion. One wants to escape, the other wants to fight the giants, and both outcomes are a certain death for me. If the tribe wins, it will cut me down like a dog. If the giants win, it will massacre all of the prisoners and I will no longer be needed. Uh, Holy shit. Fuck this guy. And what do you want? My only chance to escape is to set the giants loose on the tribe it's early. Fight. Yes. And get away while the giants are busy massacring the rebels. No one from my tribe will survive. While I will join with the other Kellids and tell my future children about my heroic rescue until the end of my days. Wow, what a piece of shit. Man, you really are scum. Call me whatever you wish, you just... but think about it. It is better to be called Carrion. Is it better to be called carrion or to be rotting in the ground? Rotting in the ground. Well, I, I, it's, a false, the ground. it's a false dichotomy. He could have done everything he's done so far and still try to find a solution that saves his, part, his tribesmen and lets him escape. It's not like it can't be done. It's just harder. Can we, can we just kill him? It's an option. Would it be a smart idea to kill him? No. Mm. I must go. He might be a tool we could use later. Go, go, and don't attract any unwanted attention. Especially not to me. I think what I will do is attract attention, especially to you. Well, I want to talk to the brothers first. Yeah, I know. And see if they have a use for him. If they don't, that's his ass. Fucking cunt. It really is. Holy shit. Oh, it's the same. We are in the place where we're allowed to be, right? Yeah, well, we look just like the rest of the Kellys, so as long as we don't piss anybody off, they won't attack us.
This isn't a plan, it's suicide. We have no hope of winning. Uh, just the opposite. We now have hope. Not much, but a bit. Uh, another month of delay, though, and there will be none left. You're right. And here are our guests. Help us settle this matter. Whose plan is better? You, 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 you can't... Oh, tell us about your plans, you morons. Father passed on to us sacred knowledge. The secret of our tribal magic. There is a special ritual that will allow us to invoke the power of our ancestors. Mm -hmm. Our dispute is over how we should use this power. Performing the ritual will not go unnoticed, so we must decide how to fight the giants. My plan is this. We ask the ancestors to call animals to our aid. While our captors fight them off, we slip right past them and will be free at last. Mm hmm. Hmm. Not a bad plan. For both of us. The animals will help defeat the giants. It'd save a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. The ancestors would laugh at us for such a foolish request. We're warriors, so we must meet our enemies face to face. Here's what we'll do. We'll ask the ancestors to lend us strength. And to inflict weakness upon the giants. Then we'll cut those bastards into bloody shreds. We'll avenge our kin and walk out of here as warriors, not cowards. In any case, we need to recover the weapons the giants took from us. We cannot do this without your help. We must also get rid of the giant in charge of butchering animal carcasses. The ritual cannot be performed so long as he lives. So, when everything's ready, the first thing we must do is kill him along with his helper. Are you two, like, always at odds? Yes, for as long as I can remember. But that's normal for brothers. A spirit of healthy competition. Token would probably be a smarter leader than I am. A good chief in times of peace. Once we kill the giants, let him lead us. But in harsh times, they call for harsh decisions, and he is, alas, incapable of that. I don't want the title of chief. I don't need power. All that I want is to save as many lives as I can. Save, Arden, not heroically sacrifice. Hmm. Well, at least you're not sharpening your blades on each other. That's a start. Maybe you do have a chance of making it out of this mess. Hmm. How can we get our weapons back, right? What's that? How how can we get their weapons back? Yeah. Do they know where it is? There is a garbage pit next to the giant's camp. Those monsters throw bones in there after their terrible feasts. All the remains of our unfortunate brethren. That is also where our weapons ended up on the first day of captivity. Oh, dig mm. through the bone pit. Good. Great. Mm. There's a cavern leading to the bottom of the pit. It's narrow, but you can squeeze through. We'll distract the overseers, and you'll sneak in and grab our weapons. Well, they do need weapons if they I want to at least get defend them. themselves. Excellent! We'll make some noise here to distract them while you run to the garbage pit. Hold on. It doesn't make sense for the whole squad to go. Such a large group will be easily noticed. Yet, it is also too dangerous to go alone. Recommendation. Take a single companion with you. Regarth. Yeah. Not, not even a question. Is he rogue? Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> Don't want. We'll distract the overseers. We're an interesting section. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Fight, 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 yep. fight. 
big old fist fight. It's it's sort of brave for them to do that though because like, well, I assume the giants like that because it's like watching the watching animals fight or something. Yeah, they definitely would enjoy blood sport fighting. Okay, so that's something out. Is that a mythic level? Oh, it's a level up. Oh. Fascinating. Yeah. Quick, Pretty. it's quick to level up this this game this section. Mhm. Mm it's continuing in the vein of like most the vast majority of your experience coming from uh, quests. Mm. Songs on the DLC so far much better than through the ashes. I'm glad to get to deal with these characters um, in a situation like this, and I really like the, uh, at least so far, the different um, scenarios that you have to go through in order to get the ice shards. Mm. What about you, Bob? So far, all the characters have been deeply interesting and likable. Even, even Rekgarth and Sendry mm -hmm. were at odds with each other, but like, sort of harmonize each other. <laughs> yeah. I also like that angel guy. Yeah, he seems cool. He's like, he's been there for years. Yes. And he's going to stay there. Until he either dies or finishes doing his what he's doing. Yep. Nuts. Yeah, like that. Angels are lawful good, right? That one is, yeah, that's an Iomidean angel. I don't remember what the celestial names are for the other alignments. I think... I can't remember if Azata or the Chaotic Celestials or if they're a different thing. <laughs> Lawful chaotic. Yep. God. Fighting defensively, better at it. Okay. <sighs> What's the deific obedience? We can get Nedry's obedience. Black like two and blind. That doesn't matter. What do we get? Plus two sacred bonus to charisma skill checks. Eh. Plus two, four for fame bonus on bluff and sleight of hand. Okay. Yours Plus for fame bonus. I can't tell if that's a compliment or not. I mean, it's a bonus. A bonus is a bonus. Plus four sacred bonus and saves against electricity. Cool. All right, those aren't the best. Some of yeah, them are decent. Call someone a profane bonus. Is that a good one or a bad one? I don't know. Let's see what beats do we have? We have weapon finesse, frightening ambush, dirty fighting. Good. Hmm. Initiative, solo tactics. We don't have weapon focus, right? Mm -mm. Okay, good. I don't think so. Because uh, then we can take Dervish Dance and use uh, Scimitars, and it allows us to add our dexterity to damage. I'll see what other options are available, but that's real good. Yeah, I think we should take Dervish Dance. Mm -hmm.
Well, first I want to make sure we're proficient with scimitars. That would be very stupid. Mm. Or not. Get wrecked. Yeah. Exotic weapon proficiency coming? That'd be martial. But uh, martial. it'd be better off just taking a level in fighter if we wanted that. Okay. There are two minds about them ditching the survival underdog gimmick. Quite enjoyed the change of approach to be more on avoiding creating creative solutions, prioritizing survival, but I could also see most not liking it and how maintaining it for another DLC would be overstaying its welcome. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay. Mm hmm Maybe we should multi-class. Mm, not the multi-class. <laughs> the question is, what, what would we choose? Uh, mm, like, well, we want something. We want something that would give us um, scimitars or the ability to take a similar feat. I don't think any of the rogue. <sighs> Do any of the rogues give us martial weapons proficiency? Because getting know. getting even one dice of sneak attack would be nice. But... Master of all. Dang. Weapon finesse. Yeah, doesn't change it. Rowdy gets it. And they get the vital strike thing. Oh. Yeah, martial weapons for first time. One sneak attack dice. Vital strike. Trap finding. So we lose one point of base attack bonus. I don't think it's too bad. Mm, yeah, it's really good. But Rowdy is the more strength-oriented one. Let me just make sure there's no... All right, but of course, I want to read this. Rowdy adds 2d6 damage. Uh, additional damage per sneak attack dice the damage from his vital strike. Yeah, that's that's what makes it so good. It doesn't seem like it's gonna matter if it's using strength or dex, so. Mm-hmm. Alright. For a split second there, sneak attack, I read as sneak a sneak. Sneak a sneak. What if I also take Sylvan Trickster? What if I fly close to the sun? Open? Uh, yeah, you can't take um, two archetypes if they replace the same things. So, like, whatever's getting replaced to add martial weapons would still be replaced if we took Sylvan Trickster. Wait, you can take two subclasses? I can take a third if I want to, but it becomes less and less like the class, and occasionally you run into class features that don't work well together. Oh. Interesting. Nah, there's no good... there's no reason to. The only good thing about Sylvan Trickster is you can get hexes. Mm -hmm. But we don't get them until second level. So yeah, let's take the Rowdy. Mm -hmm. Need to go back on one skill. He does look like he'd be a Rowdy fighter. <laughs> don't ask me why he'd suddenly switch to the accent. Wasn't gonna. It's just. That was more to chat than anything else. You silly goose. Look. Actually, I wanna quickly look at something. Where's that fence signal? Fencing 
Brace requires weapon focus, get a one-handed piercing weapon, and slashing brace. Weapon focus and a one-handed slashing. Uh, choose a kind of light or one-handed slashing weapon, such as a longsword. When wielding your chosen weapon one-handed, you treat it as a one-handed piercing weapon. Uh, for all feats and abilities, and add your dexterity instead of strength. That's what we want. But, mm -hmm. might as well just take Dervish Dance and these scimitars. The only good reason for that would be if we wanted to use a specific different kind of weapon. Alright, let's hope I didn't fuck this up. Mm -hmm. Alright, regards. Oh, it's got him on auto. Get the fuck out of here. Ooh, my bones. Stop that bones. Sorry about your bones. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's like, it's cold enough for my bones, apparently, that it hurt. Huh. That's weird. Mm. He has pretty much all of the good ranger. Uh, feet. I guess we could take range disarm. Uh, I think the range combat maneuver feats aren't good. Mm. What are his oh, talents? Open focus, death aim, weakening. Okay. We can take bleeding, usually good. Flow reactions is okay. I have to take video back. Alright. It's sneaking time. Using clever tactics now. Yes. The cave roof has collapsed, completely blocking the way. A humanoid skeleton is caught under the massive stones. Oof. I bet he tried trying to escape. We better be careful or we'll wind up like this guy. I don't know if we can open that with these two. Oh no, you've got good athletics. Never mind. Oh, he's totally got it. Let's not do that one. For rocks do we do? Yeah. Do I, do I, do we ask him anything? Do I don't we, know. Do we even have time? I just want to see what's available. Do you regret getting involved with all this? Even his home? We've got a long way. Seems like only yesterday we were escaping from the theater. Is that reference to the earlier game? Yeah, that's what the, that's the beginning. You both are at the theater. Uh, and the cultists are doing cult stuff.
Um, Do we want to ask anything? Yeah, sure. I mean, one. Now, let's leave the cave. Have you... hmm? Wait, what? Let's leave the cave oh. of evil man-eaters, yeah? Now, let's leave the cave of evil man-eaters, yeah? The theater was dead set slaughterhouse. But for everything we've been through since, I kind of miss those days. I think he's a solid dude so far. Yeah. He's pretty cool. He's very reliable. Let's continue the co- uh, let's see if clear the corrupts. Yeah, let's help. Nice. Ha! Look at all we're doing. Proper stonemasons, we are. Managed to clear part of the rubble. Way deeper into the cave is still blocked. It took 30 fucking minutes. Yep. Oh. Together, you and Rickarth worked tirelessly and un unhurriedly moving the stones one by one. A process that seems to take hours. Finally, a cool breeze can be felt through the cracks. We've nearly, ne nearly made it through. We've stopped now. Once the last rocks are moved aside, the way into the cave is finally clear. Deeper into the cave. Yeah. You are in a cave. Look. Lesser breezes of what now? Yeah. I mean, that's what we Actually. have equipped. We didn't. I, we didn't have anybody who can identify this. Hmm. He's already got braces of archery. That's what it was referring to. Okay. Hmm. Does no one want appraisal as a skill anymore, Shamaha? <laughs> using clever tactics now. I say that because I don't usually take appraisal in my <laughs> games. For nature failed. It's a pile of rocks. Mm. Yes, these rocks are sure made out of rocks. Mm. Oh well. Oh. Watch that actually be like um one of those scout signs on the ground. Yeah, it could be any number of Danger things. Danger here. Or treasure here, actually. You want to read this? Where? Okay. <clears throat> In front of you is the ghostly silhouette of a kneeling man. His lifeless gaze stares off into space and an indistinct muttering, muttering escapes from his trembling lips. The air around you is growing heavier. An invisible force that presses down on you, preventing you from moving. Okay. Damn it to the abyss! This thing is doing something to us! We need to get rid of the ghost. Not far from the ghost lies the decayed body of a Kellid. Its clothes are the same as those worn by the dead man you found under the rubble. Perhaps they were from the same tribe. Lure religion? Can we make it? We've got a very good chance. It's definitely our best odds. The ghost keeps muttering, mouthing the same words. An excerpt of a funeral prayer. Appealing for mercy from the soul, or the soul going to the boneyard. Uh, try to read the entire prayer with the ghost. We need an eight. Or wait, no, we need a twelve. Yeah, you do. We got it. You add new words to the prayer. Forcing the entity to turn in your direction. 
After listening to the prayer, the vision nods to you gratefully and dissolves in the darkness of the cave. Nice. Hey, for once, prayer worked. Yeah? Hell yeah, thoughts and prayers. My thoughts and prayers go with you. Is that another spirit? Yep. Oh boy, there's a lot of dead spirits here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this place is pretty cursed. Our last moments were filled with fear and despair, but we failed our Lord Nature check again. This cave has claimed many lives. This... the giants have claimed many lives. Yeah. No, it's the cave. What cave? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> oh, damn. Hmm. Oh, I hate oh, it. it. Fucked up. I, I don't think they were clear enough about... When, you know, when they said bone pit, I didn't expect so much blood. Yeah. I thought maybe they would have... more gruesome, like, charred bones or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just a lot of dry bones, because they ate everybody. Do they eat these humans raw? No, they mentioned a cauldron. They clearly boil them. Alright, before we make that save, let's buff. Because that fortitude save implies we're going to get sick and throw up if we fail. Hey, Koja. She's sleeping with her head pressed into the uh, sofa. Mm, like, curled good. up as best as she can. Do we have uh, cloak of resistance? We do. Alright. Baby. Who's got the highest? We're at plus nine. He's at plus three. So it's us. <clears throat> and one D. Potion of cure serious wounds. Yeah, not a bad get. Oh, this sucks. Fuck. Failed the perception check. The fetid pile of garbage. Weapons and armor mixed with the rotting remains of their owners. When you touch them, a dark vision appears in your mind. Your own teeth bite into the flesh of still, li still living victims. Warm blood flows down your chin. The air is rent by someone else's screams of pain. A feeling of sated contentment fi fills your being. Now the putrid flesh seems tantalizing, able to satisfy your insatiable hunger. Oh, good. Jesus. <sighs> Calastria Preserve. Did you feel that too? Let's grab the weapons and run. You're in the Shadow Realm, it seems. Oh. Visions of people being ate? Yeah. That's grody. The noises are in the present now. Cracking of tearing flesh, the moans of the dying, and the horrifying sound of giants smacking their lips. The vision penetrates deeper into your consciousness, inviting you to join the bloody feast. Now we didn't wait to attack on Titan here, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We've got what we came for. Oh, we've got. I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. That's... Now we need to get out of here quickly and carefully. It's praying time! The words of your prayer echo off the stone. 
uh, I go off the stone walls of the cave. The air around you fills with a soothing coolness. The visions dissipate, as does the obsessive hunger that had gripped you. Jesus, that's that's I'm metal. Yeah. I also like that we've solved, like that our like religious character has solved almost every problem with knowledge religion. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, everything down here. Ugh. Awful. Is there a way? Is there like a place where you can wash off? No. Before you. Uh... <laughs> nope. God. Although I would like to see how long that knot stick in's gonna last. 30 seconds. Let's just sit and wait for stick it to run down. Yeah. Nobody wants to enter into a potential fight with, um, Sickened. No. There's an oracle curse that makes you Sickened forever. Shaken. Or fatigued, sorry, Shaken forever. Yeah, it's just as bad. Sickened and Shaken stack with each other. They do basically the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Can I cuddle? That gore pit's fucking nuts. Yeah. I don't think they should have called it bone pit. That's not a bone pit. Nah, no, it's a gore pit. I agree. I've seen bone pits in other games. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen a few bone pits yeah, in my day. Yeah, particularly in Diablo. Yeah. There's a lot of bone pits in Diablo. Very. The strange thing being, I did play a lot of Diablo 2. Diablo 2 is good. Yeah, it's good. I don't really it care for a lot of... Yeah, I don't really care for a lot of Diablo likes, but Diablo 2 is good. Mm -hmm. Diablo 3 had way too much shit going on and colors and bullshit. And Diablo 4 is just, um... in-game transactions. Yeah, it's a live service. Let's level up the rest of the party. I think maybe the only game where I can mm, be okay with that being a thing is like a racing game. Because it can totally get fucking boring if you're just racing on the same track, I suppose. Like if you want more maps, more stuff, I think it makes sense for a racing game to have that. I guess, but there are racing game live services and they all apparently suck. Hmm. I mean, a few of them that I've heard of don't. They actually simulate real, like, racing. I watched a video um, about, uh, like... It's called eye racing. that's what it's called. Okay. I watched a video essay about, like, racing sims and the dire state of them. Really? Yeah, like, Damn. maybe a month or two ago. Maybe. Yeah, I'll see if I can find it if you want to watch it. Yeah, it'd be nice. Alright. Much nature. I played some Forza. <laughs> I've never been big into racing, racing game... sims. Racing games are not my thing either, bro. It, it is my brother's thing. Hoja! <clears throat> College OP confirmed oh, in this DLC at least. Well, t to be honest, this game's great at giving you different ways to solve problems. Like, you'll notice I had knowledge religion as an option each time, but I also had, like, make a will save, or trickery. Oh. What have I got? We're... I do love the idea of okay. being able to have a religion check to save yourself from something like this. Yeah, in, in a world where gods are real. Them. Yeah. Like... I'm going, have... I'm... I'm going to keep that in mind. Yeah. DNA. Like, can That's you remember really cool. exactly? Like, can you remember or intuit the uh, the prayer necessary to save your ass right now? I dig it. Man, it must be really weird for Ichiko, because in her world, while gods are real. 
She has quite literally faced up against them. Mm -hmm. And fought and won. I'm coming to a world like this. That's, um... Yeah, the gods of Galarian are a lot stronger than the ones in Eorzea. She must hate having her not having her powers here. Mm hmm <laughs> She's like, mm. There are so many things I can solve with the powers of my original world. She'll be thankful later, probably. Well, we were also... doing the summoning fill, but we basically reached the end of that. We do your menuing. I'm going to use the bathroom. Yeah, sure. Maybe. Yeah, Bob. Bob's interest in actually, like, building a character that is not a Rosie, clearly a little lacking. I really need to use the bathroom. Don't, I know. Don't, don't lambast me with accusations like that. Lambasting away. Rude. What is the spell focus in us? Eh. I guess we could turn Sindri into a... Abjurer too. Sure. What do I want to go with here? I've already got the summoning. Now we've got Grease, I think. Yeah. I don't know if we need protection in this DLC as much as we do the main game. Stunning Barrier doesn't last as long as I would like it to. I never want to be close enough for corrosive touch. Hmm. Oh, we don't have mage armor yet. Let's get that. Action from arrows. Maybe useful later on. Glitter Dusk is good. Some of the small elemental might be eyed. Oh, web! There it is. Alright, take web. Level 3. We've got Dispel Magic, Spike Pit, and Vengeful Comet. <laughs> well, we've already got like the main spells that we would want at this level for the two schools we focused on. Let's get Lightning Bolt. Slayer Man. I want to get them all out of auto build. I don't know why it's set to that by default. Wait, isn't he a two weapon fighter? 
Oh no, he's a great sword fighter. Right. You two handed weapon or one handed weapon in two hands using power attack. No penalty on the first attack. Okay. Uh, he's doing exactly the same thing. That's so weird. Mods, am I right? By which I meant modifications, not my moderators. Although I suppose I am right about moderators too, in that they exist. Initiating level up protocol. Uh... Couldn't for the life of you find which mod added that duplicate. Right. Maybe tabletop tweaks? Because that one is kind of like perma-installed once you get to it. And it's the basis for so many other mods now. That's my hunch, anyway. Um... A lot of option toggles, so yeah, it's true. Dark Codex also, yeah, it makes sense. That grew a lot from when I first found it. A link performance is pretty much necessary. She's also a ranged character, which makes rapid shot necessary. Hmm. Lingering performance. Entangle your piercing scream, remove fear. Um, hideous flat. Confusion is some good shit. Actually, despair, obviously. <coughs> Haste. Remove curse. I think... Confusion... And haste. I'm back. Welcome back. Oh man, looks like it's going to do some hella raining out there. Yeah? Yeah. Well, hopefully it keeps things cool for you. Way. Yeah. I like it cool, but also... This often means thunder and lightning. That's true. Which... I am but a baby. Yes, I, I experienced Therefore... that the other day. 
please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once again, this is bullying. Yes, it's bullying to, to acknowledge things that I've experienced. <laughs> Okay, we must be doing, um, yeah, prodigious two up in fighting. That's what I figured. If that's the case, we may go with power attack. I learned the use of the word tweaking in slang ah, yeah. like two days ago, thanks to Willow. You mean like the drugs? Yeah. Yeah. Like, because she was telling me a story about how when she was like 12. A classmate of hers gave her and two other friends like dark chocolate. Like more than 75% cacao dark chocolate. I'm like, yeah, that's that's pretty dark, but it's like, um, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm surprised a 12 year old would like it, but I did like it even when I was 12, so, yeah. Yeah. And she was fine with it, and apparently her, the other two classmates started acting like they were tweaking. Like, they, they started tweaking. That's so I was like, tweaking? Tw tw tweaking? Like, yeah, like they, yeah. They did that, and, huh. That's weird. I guess that they're 12 years old. It makes sense that they do weird things. Yeah. yeah gotta go back to the suns. Or are they just like right there? I guess they they're are. just like right there. Look. Our tribe will be free! I will not let us perish in these miserable caves! At least we agree on something, brother. Yeah. We, can we not give them their weapons? We picked up their weapons, right? Yeah. Hmm. It, it said we did. Well... Traitor. Is traitor the thing that, we're, oh. that that the guy wants us to do? Yes, he's waiting for us to visit him and tell him we'll help. And I think I've got a headache. Oh. Yeah. You wanna call it? Did you want to call the stream shirt? No. Just letting you know in case it's like seems like I can't read. That would be why. Okay. Of the two plans, I much prefer Tolkien's. Me too. Even if we decide to fight, I'd rather have a bunch of animals to help us than just a buff. Like, Tolkien's plan is better for all purposes. Uh, I saw another character. Kellen Huntress, yeah, there. And a girl named Reyna. You wanna do her? Yeah. <clears throat> a woman calls out in a confident voice. You had noticed her when the giants dragged away their latest victims. Hey, you! I'm going to kill that scoundrel! 
Uh oh. Now that's a request. We're not mercenaries. You're skilled fighters, that's plain to see. We'll let yourself be eaten. Which means you will have to fight the giants. Kill their henchmen while you're at it. You'll be helping yourselves and the people. Um I think we know exactly who she's talking about. Mm-hmm. Who are you? Raven. A hunter from the tribe. Straight to the point. I have no further questions. <laughs> He's impressed. Mm-hmm. I like the cut of her jib. Like uh I mean I wanted to talk more, so I guess we should ask her, like, wait, what are you talking about? I love that scum who screeches in a giant's language. That scoundrel he betrayed us. He loves people to save his own skin. Blood for blood, he must die. Uh, I mean... Yeah. He's willing to literally ask us to have the giants kill you before you yep. have him killed. But that doesn't mean so we shouldn't get something out of this. What do we get? I don't know yet, but I won't remain in your debt for long. I swear it. Deal. You got a deal. Good. Don't take too long. Yeah. Hey, Huntress. Soon there won't be any of us left. Oh, poor lady. Like, it is just... So fucking... A, it's a desperate situation. Oh, a protectress. Also, like, um... Awful. Oh, same. It's a fly, it's huh? A camp? Like, we can make camp here? Yeah, we can oh. have a camp. That's cute. We don't need it yet, though, thankfully. Yes, Kojo? What do you want? <laughs> Alright, well, let's... To rest by my feet. Let's go kill that prick. Yeah. Fucker. What a... What a dink is. What a dink. Dinkleberry, that's what he is. I just noticed it was interactable. Poison food. Oh, okay. <laughs> He'd actually get a Do we poison. have any poison? No. Hold on, let me check. It might not be for him either. Like, I don't know. But important guests. I have it cleaned up. Up for a little chat. Uh, we can lie to him, find a hidden exit from the caves, preparing our escape. Are you with us? I like that. Mm -hmm. Especially since we can't fail. Mm -hmm. Really? And here I thought I'd explored everything. Let's go, quickly. Oh, dude. Okay. Something's not right. You can't fool me. Oh. Mm. I thought it wanted me to take him to the cave so no one would notice me butchering him. And is that what they wanted you to do? No, nope. as soon as we got close. Like, hey, wait a minute. Okay. But I quick saved right in front of him. Yeah. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just checking the walk walkthrough. Uh... 
some tanners that you need that well n not that you need but you can free some what you're stuck behind tanners oh tanners yeah i'll definitely have to go look for that thanks for the tip yeah inside okay. you have to fight three venom hodags hodags all right and, yeah well let's go venom explore hodags. the other places we haven't been yet and see if we see them yeah uh it's it's nearby the, um, you know where the brothers are? Yeah. Uh, it's, well, it's further down. Okay. There's a cook yeah. and the militia. Little giant butcher. Right, we have to kill him too. Helen Scout. There's the protectress. Um, oh, okay. We can also. All right. There are the tanners. Mm. We'll just kill the giant, I guess. Do that later. Okay. When we do this, at some point, we will find um, another poison, the food kind of. Um, yeah, I saw it. Um, option. And we can poison the giants. You can yeah. also poison that guy. Oh, okay. It'd be better to poison the giants. Yeah. If you use reduced person on a giant, what would you call the result? A medium-sized giant. Uh, for the one we just got... Oh, it does con damage. Neg minus four to six con. That's not bad. But yeah, I don't think we got poison yet. Yeah. I'm not sure Is where to get like it. Is there like a handy dandy highlight all the items? I'm push pushing anything? it now. Okay. Can I see the map, please? Oh, sure. Okay, the the spot where the tanners is. Okay, can you mouse over to where the brothers are? Right here. Okay, and then go south. Yep. Uh, not not super south, like down there. Yeah. Yeah. Those parts is is where I saw on the map in the game. Okay, cool. There's like a rubble thing you gotta go past. Aha. That's always nice. Yeah, I'll take a look. Rubble, rubble. Rubble, rubble. Mm -hmm. There it is. You've torn your dress. Ah, there, there we have. We got some venom a dags. Venom holes, dags. Yeah. Magical beasts, they're not stupid. And they can have some better feats. Shit. They have uh, art and will. Shut up. Yeah. If you use reduced person on a giant, what do you call the result? On a giant. Mm. Yeah, medium giant. Yeah, medium giant. So what if you reduce person on a halfling? Tiny halfling. Tiny? Qu quarterling. <laughs> ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum. That's their babies. Quarterlings. 
The worst part is, like, uh, Lightfoot Halfling would think that's hilarious. Really? Oh, yeah. They think a good sense of humor. Like, a, a hobbit? Mm. A hobbit, uh, hearing someone call their child a, a quarterling would think that's very funny. Okay, but hobbits don't like it when they call you halfling, though. Oh, that's right. I forgot Tolkien halflings don't like that. Hmm. My bad. Like, we're half a nothing. We're hobbits. Half the height. Oh, you. <laughs> yeah, me. Like Tall. Good hobbit. Yeah. Maybe yeah, you would. Hobbit. That's because I'm a cute person in general. <laughs> That's true. You are precious. I would probably be super best friends with, um, Peregrine. Peregrine Tilk. And Mary. Because they're both dinguses. Yeah, I can see you getting along pretty well with them. And mischievous. Mm-hmm. Sure and are. I think it's not mischievous. Nice. Good hit, motherfucker. Hell yeah. <laughs> Get in them guts. Get it? No. You got them. Get in the hole. I don't know what you're talking about. Thunder call. Nah, that's a waste. I am about to rearrange your face. <laughs> I am about to rearrange your yeah. face. I love an android right. talking shit in robot voice. That's so good. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Your eyes can't hit, uh, your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. I would like to shit talk, but I'm actually really bad at it. I only know my, my country's version of a shit talk. Mm. Which is just calling your mother green. <laughs> it's a, it's, 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 it's a meme. It's a night, it's a nationwide meme. Okay. But we don't actually say it in English, obviously. It's in our language. It's very funny. <laughs> Turns out I don't have a meme bone in my body. Sorry, folks. I've been lying to you all this time. It's alright, Bestie. It wasn't very convincing. What? <laughs> but... I, on the other hand... mean person. Oh, that's funny. That's very funny. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Let's resolve this with reasonable, like reasonable adults. With violence. Oh, look. Walking loot. Yeah, those are really good, too. I haven't heard them yet. Oh, Penta. There's the poison. Ooh. That baby. Uh, Magic foe. Potion of heroism. Ooh, have we managed to, um... Uh... Jesus Christ, what it's called? Appraise the racer that we found? Oh, yeah. So, appraise is in this, uh... You do it with your knowledge skills. Instead of spellcraft mm -hmm. or a phrase. So, mm -hmm. we probably did it as soon as Sentry re entered. Yeah. Yeah, they're braces of archery. Oh, lame. They're pretty good, though. I'm gonna put them on her. 
plus two confidence bonus on attack rolls and a plus one confidence bonus on damage rolls with bows. Like, that's for good. <laughs> we need to get you better armor, this guy bro. guy has a badass portrait. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's just also also I just have a I just have a real problem with men who have longer hair. Who put it, who put them up in either a ponytail or a or a bun? Man bun, yeah. Mhm. Mm Here's just something about it. Fun fact: I I was secretly mm. wearing my hair in a ponytail for months and no one noticed. Well, we didn't see it. I know. That's why it was a secret. Yes. Hi, Rekor. I also want to point out how I hate how this just looks like fantasy me. Yeah, but I'm, I was but, gonna say. but yeah. he's doing the expression. Yeah. <laughs> From Disco Elysium. I hate yeah. that. It's just it's me <laughs> doing the expression. <laughs> Oh my god. I was already thinking it looks like you. I was like, there's something not not quite correct about this, and I don't know what it is. It's the expression. You're it's right. Harry Dubois, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you did this to yourself, man. Braided right into your beard? Oh, neat. Uh, let's give you at least a bow. Actually, a crossbow's way better if you don't have strength. See, that's cool. Long hair. I like that there's a cure serious wounds. Is there a cure critical wound? Yep. Red there is? Yes. That's the next step oh. up. It goes cure light, moderate, serious, and critical. Oh my god. I was just kidding. Nah. 1d8, 2d8, 3d8, 4d8. Plus level. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so should I go poison the drinks now? I think, yeah, poisoning the giants would probably be helpful, yeah? I mean, I don't know the order of operations, but we could just save and see it, what happens. It doesn't really give you an order of operations. Oh, okay, so cool. Read. Basically, just do, do whatever you want. You will be able to get caught, though, so you might want to save. Oh, yeah. I was already going to. Oh, the butcher guy. I also gotta kill the butcher. Hey, fella. Um... Hold on, let, let me let me go find where that um It's right here. The... Right there? I told you. Oh. I'm thirsty. status they've got. Is it just poisoned? Oh, I can't even check. Damage. Fuck you. Well, they... Yes? Hi. Hi, baby.
just wants to hang out. Okay. Mm -hmm. God. Look at the baby. I'm glad they can understand human speech. Ball. Oh. Eat shit. Hi. What a cutie. You're so pretty. Mm -hmm. You're so pretty. And precious. You're cute. <laughs> The silly goose. Adorable. Mother, I am cat, not goose. Well, you can be a silly goose sometimes, Koja. Yeah. That'd also be my fault because I named you literally after being a delinquent. Mm hmm. But you know. Yeah, you nailed it in one. Was it nominative determinism? Yes. But like, she came to me this way, so. Well. Yeah, but nominative determinism is just, like, a perception thing. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, is that, uh, mo uh, mo mocking whatever? What is that? Why is there a laughing face on the Oh, yeah. You? That's hideous laughter. Jesus. He is laughing uncontrollably on the ground. Has anyone ever, like, peed themselves laughing What because of... I mean, um, I don't think it's ever been addressed in canon, but probably. Uh, I, because... I, I've known... well... I know that sometimes, like, I, I could probably pee myself if I laugh too hard like that. I haven't. But I felt that sensation because my brothers were dicks. Hmm. I don't know. Surely someone would have I'll laughed themselves. That hard. I mean, missed Tuval. I mean, uh, on a granted of scale, yeah, almost certainly. And don't call me Shirley. Because surely sounds like surely look. You. The thing is, you don't even know that I'm referencing a movie. Because you're a baby and haven't seen Naked Gun. No. Poor old man. I mean, you're the one who hasn't seen a hilarious movie like Naked Gun. Old I'm sure fellow old people could back me up on this. It could just be that I just didn't watch a lot of... That too, but it, it's way funnier that I make fun of you. To me. The one who matters. Yeah. Once again, somehow we're best friends. Yep. Hey, she ran away. Ooh. Or she was done with the companionship. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Ooh. You're just very curious uh, giants. What, yeah, well, what that, do we that, do, you know? Yeah, what a suspicious pain. Yeah. Mild when I said the line? Excellent. A negligible obstacle. A negligible Spear. obstacle. You take a minus four penalty when you attack a prone opponent with ranged weapons, so that's why it's having trouble. You're going down. <laughs> but he hilariously yeah. can't stand up, so mm. like worth it. You're going down. You're going down. I can't imagine Snake saying that. No. Ah, oh, Salat! You're going down. 
he would totally say that. Wow. Like, um, he just croaked. Of, um... Literally croaked. Yeah. yeah. The spell, the grease. Yeah. Everyone stacks it. Well, that fellow did that again. Are we sure he's dead? Yes. He was, for some reason, on the grease. Like it were an object. Hi, so you didn't see anything. Do they want to talk? Do they see anything? No, they're stretching. They have nothing to say about what just happened. Really? Wow. Oh, 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 Alright. At least they're out of the way. No, I didn't do it for thanks. I, well, I was really gonna, looking for thanks. Yeah. Oh, no, I get it. Just like it's fine if they don't want to say anything. That's all. Yeah, it's just... Hmm. I was expecting them to be like, Oh, wow, that was a... Uh, yeah, holy shit. Was, like, really brave or really stupid. Yeah, well, e yeah, either like, Wow, thank you, or What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Because both are valid. Oh, right, we gotta go kill That's that... That's what I was expecting. ...that prick. Yeah, the, the, the motherfucking... ...dangus. God. Cock better, gobbler. Better to... Better to be a carrion than a body rotting in the ground. I mean, that I'm is sorry, true. Bro. Like, I... I don't even condemn him entirely for his decision to save himself. But the fact that he wants to sacrifice them all for his safety? No, fuck you. Yeah, that's what I mean. Alright, where are we going to take him this time? <clears throat> Maybe up here? Nope. Damn it. Oh, I should probably take him into the butcher area. Just kill everybody in that little enclosure. Oh, wait. Sorry, the... Uh, walkthrough. Acquire a manticore tail. Manticore tail? Now that, yeah, now that we got weapons and freed the tanners, let's get the manticore tail. It's still where the tanners are. We just need to go to find... To where the... Uh... Uh, like, like, where the giants have a wheel cart full of meat, and there'll be a steel check. And some pieces of meat yeah. you, can, you can get from there, and they'll, they can, you can use them to lure out a manticore. I ain't seen the it. manticore's location is to the west of the map. I don't see a check to get meat. Did I have to do it uh, before I killed them? I don't think so. Let's see where you... Oh, I got the butcher's cleaver though. Hold on. Oh, oh it's a falchion. It's a cool weapon. Neat. Yeah. So when you hit an enemy who's afraid, they become sickened on top of it. Jesus. Yep. And you gain five it. temporary hit points when you kill somebody with it. That's pretty neat, though. Yeah, it's a good weapon. We just don't have anybody that's using... A falchion. A falchion, yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's a better bonus than his great sword, I think. Even though it's his preferred weapon. Oh, it's the same bonus. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not seeing the prompt. Hmm. Is there another the, meat cart? I'm not sure, because in the walkthrough it gave 
it showed us as if um well, maybe you need to find the manticore first i'm not sure all right well let's go west yeah there basically to that grayish patch that you see there with the manticore. I'm not sure why you'd want it. Probably a weapon. It's probably like a good weapon. Oh. A manticore's tail can be a weapon? Sure. Well, slap my ass and don't call me Sally. I think it's got a stinger, so maybe it even does poison. Okay. Also, why would I call you Sally? Um... Like, ass slapping, I understand. Yes. But... Mm -hmm. But, you know, maybe, maybe you just like the name Sally or something. I wonder if I could just kill these giants. Let's save. Right, I can't investigate them. Shit. Um, say blood color. They don't know who they're dealing with. Yeah. Oh. That angered everybody. Okay. Oh my god. You know the ghost thing? Yeah. That uh, if we had failed to pass any of the check, we would get the crisis of confidence status effect, and that's permanent. Yeah. All right. It's nuts. That's and that harsh. Crisis of confidence is minus two penalty on attacks, attack rolls, weapon damage, uh, saves, and skill checks. That's fucked. That's doom. Permanent. That's the effect of the doom spell. <sighs> yep. That's rough. Hmm. I think we didn't. We good thing we didn't fail that. Ay, ay, ay. I was actually expecting it to either be a a, a typical game over, or um, we kill Rickarth. Follow me. Okay, I'm gonna take him to the giant's meat place. What do you want, Kocha? Hmm? You child? Hmm? You baby? Why do we need to get the... Free the tanners? Where are you taking me? It's not right. I mean, yeah, kill them. attack him. Hmm. Oh, this is a different meat thing. Is there, am I supposed to take him someplace specific? Um, I 
don't know. Because I just thought it was getting him away from the giants. Me too. No tree. See, is there an AoE spell I can use? What are we doing now? Yeah, I don't know. They could do it. Or not. Take him towards the cave yeah. marked in the box above. Cave marked in the box above. What cave marked in the box above? Oh, the cave with the... Where we found the ve venom... Venom... Oh, venom, okay. The venom dogs. Okay, that's what I needed to know. Because my first assumption was the cave cave. The blood pit. No. Alright, so... That place is... Down south of the bo of the brothers. Oh yeah, down there. All right. Let's see if. <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. He said something. Yes. I said beep boop. Can you hear me? Oh, I said you said that. I wanted to see what he said. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Really? I thought I explored everything. So that's what this is. You brought me here to kill me quietly, you bastards. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. But yes, that is what I did. Now we get to kill him. Yes. Uh... Is he trying to run away or did he just attack the... Uh, yeah, I think... the wrong I, person to attack. I think he's trying to run. Doug, uh, oh, he's a level 8 rogue. Okay. Yeah, we got magic. I just wanted to see, like, what his strengths were. Lawful evil. Yeah, he's done now. There. Now he's become meat. Okay, Bessie, where's the other meat card? Okay, sorry. I I looked at it and it thought like I thought like it looked like a different meat cart. It is the same meat. Huh. It, yeah, it's just from a different angle. And I didn't get a prompt. I suppose the steel DC I suppose it's because it's stealing you you have to do it um before you kill the giants, I suppose. That's kinda of what I was That's thinking. Dumb. 
It is dumb. I don't know why you can't just grab it now that the giants are gone. Or maybe I failed the perception check to even notice. Maybe. Because we've got good perception. We have failed. I don't know why we need the manticore. Also, there's it. still tanning. Well, the Manticore Tails, like I said, probably a good weapon. But I guess we don't need it. Alright, let's go have a rest, and then we'll finish this up. Once you have all the items, return to the brothers and tell them that everything is ready for the ritual. Mm -hmm. When did they tell us that we needed a Manticore Tail? I don't they, remember them they didn't. saying we need a Manticore tail. No, no, it's not something we need. The walkthrough's telling you that you can get it. Okay. I think it must be because we didn't say anything to... Uh... What's his nuts? We haven't... Told, told him... That we wanted to help either of them yet? We oh, maybe. Alright, well, let's do that first. Then. Yeah. Let's go with to Tolkien's plan. Yeah. Agreed. No matter which approach we take, Tolkien's got a better plan. There you go. Need the tail of a manticore. Okay, there we go. Hey, have you seen a magic shard? You found it! The brothers exchange. Exchange it. Look. The chieftain of the giant tribe wields terrifying ice magic. But how can you deal with him? He's huge and ferocious, and he never walks around with gu without guards. Mm. Oh, I knew it. Oh, why, oh, why, the shard have to end up in the hands of the biggest, meanest, smelliest, and the mightiest of them all. Ah, when it rains, it... I swear by my tissues, toothpicks, and other toiletries that these giants have never even heard of. I love him. He's such a such a dork. I swear by my tissues. Yeah, I guess. I, uh, uh, giants, I swear by my I tissues, my toothpicks, tissue. and other toiletries that these giants have never heard of. Okay, now we go back to the tanners. Yeah. It's tannin time. Tanners are... Ah! There you go. Mastodon meat. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, they're no longer tanning. They're just standing there. Okay. Cool. To be fair. Let's go get that manticore. Go back to that uh, gray patch. Oh, oh. Over uh, here? Yeah, that, yeah. There should be a spawn. There should be a manticore slayer. And she does not seem to enjoy oh, leaving. Oh no, that's, that's, um, her. Oh. Penta. Right, right. This appears to be a manticore's lair. She does not seem to enjoy leaving it. Recommendation. Lure her out with something edible. Manticores are predators, so the best bait is meat. Correct. Alright, let's get everybody back here. Snick. Pentatonic. Mm-hmm. Waiting for input. Actually, no, let's get rid of her. Input these nuts. Input these nuts. What? Re request submitted. Input these nuts. If 
I might make a request. <laughs> Would you care to get dead? Mm. Oh, I see. If I may make a request, die mad. <laughs> Recommendation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> die mad. Die mad. All right, I'm glad that it actually gave us distance. I thought I had to be like, <clears throat> you know, all prepped. Mm -hmm. Recommendation. Die salty. Oh, I could have brought the trader here? That's great. All right. Manticore is not difficult. An uh, it's not a difficult enemy, but it's very annoying. Has an attack called spikes that attacks from distance and hits up to three times. That would be from his tail. Wait, did it not work? Oh no, wrath. Mm -hmm. Cave Venomanticore. Is there no better name than Venomanticore? No. What in a nutshell? I mean, it's a template. Just a manticore with the venomous template or whatever it is. Level 12 Magical Beast. It's not a tough enemy. Chaotic Evil Beast. Though. That's nuts. Yeah, magical beast. Thirty CMD. Yeah, no, it's not a pushover. I don't think we'll have trouble with it, but the guy calling it easy is like fuck off. He didn't say easy. He said it's not difficult. Okay. Oh, that was her. Yeah. I thought, what Irish ballad did I, did I, was I listening to before stream? When a bard starts playing their generic uh, bagpipe music and you think you left your music on. Mm -hmm. Did that work? Is mm -hmm. he considered oh, in combat? Yes, he is. Jabram. Yeah. Jabram. Jabram. No, Jabram. That's not the same name now. You should deliberately misspeak someone's name just because sometimes. I'll cut you. There we go. Times. Nice. Go to the Oathbreaker ability was good. Oh, and more poison. Excellent. Let's find, um... Hmm? No, probably good. Yeah. And now we can go back to uh, the brothers and tell them we got the tail and we can start the ritual now, probably. Yeah. I'm gonna rest up. We're about halfway on resources. Why is Penta so slow? Penta's oh, because she never got detected. She was still sneaking. What a Chad. Chadtastic. Correction, I am not a Chad. Correction. I am and I... whatever something. Correction, I am a Stacy. Mm -hmm. You'll just have to get used to it. 
If you were a giant, this would be the sweet smell of home. Sentry stinks here. Got it. Wow, natural one on the ritual. Thankfully, the corruption is very slow here. Would that have been very bad? Uh, well, corruption causes a bunch of uh, penalties. Like, it, it applies a natural spell failure chance. Mm. It's rough. Let us begin. Thank you. The giants will come when they've noticed we're doing something unusual. They'll be ready for battle. May our ancestors not abandon us in our time of need. I hope so too, Lusty. We'll be in dire straits if they do. Makella culture is all around, like, spirit and ancestor worship. In a setting where it's real. Defend them till the ritual is complete. Don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this a choke point? Hold on. Okay, there's two entrances. Uh. You're not half bad. <laughs> Diet, hey. diet, big boss. Good. You're not half bad. <laughs> oh, this is delicious. I want some more. Sorry, I just keep going back to those um. No, no. Sound bites mm -hmm. where he's just enjoying calorie mate and mm -hmm. uh, ramen. Yep. This is delicious. Brand name ramen more. noodles and calorie mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. And disgusting. What a nerd that guy is. Yes. Hmm. Ah, yes. Well known. Well known nerd. Solid snake. Snake's a bit of a, a nerd. Naked Snake oh, is a gun. Snake? Well, Snake's a Naked Snake's a gun nerd. Uh, Solid Snake actually watches movies and shit. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, like that was one of the he things. He also likes to make references to him. <sighs> Didn't he actually have a whole rant with the with the Kono? With the Kono? Um. I can't see where it could. Colonel? It's just Colonel. Oh, yeah. Colonel. There you go. Yeah. About um, spy films not being accurate. Oh, with the Major from F uh, MGS uh, 3. Yes. Yeah. The Major's a huge fan of James Bond. And Big Boss fucking hates James Bond. Yeah. As you're out there doing real spy work, and it's nothing like it. It's so unglamorous. Meanwhile, Metal Gear Solid does play out like a Bond film. Yeah, yeah, though, the game MGS3 is playing out like a Bond film. That's part of the joke. But it's a big inversion, where, like, the uh, femme fatale isn't conquered by the spy. In fact, she is trying to conquer him, and he won't go along with it. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in Midnight mm -hmm. Suns, I pet a cat, and every character on my roster got a level up. Nice! See, that's good. Yeah. Oh, look. Walking loot. <laughs> yeah, Walking there it is. Oh, look. Walking loot. Oh, look. Walking loot. I'm 
I believe you. Yeah. I'll split you. I'll split you in half. Mm, that's, a, that's a strange way to uh, say that. Might I convince you? Not, not flee. Uh, to lay down. Thank you. I also like the idea of using command to tell them to disarm. Yeah. Or surrender. Surrender is... I don't know. I guess it's fine. Mm -hmm. But they'll, they'll stop doing whatever the command is next turn. So it has to be something that you can take advantage of. Yeah. There was um, a D&D group that I watched that they... That, that he uh, he said um, he wanted the person to be disadvantaged in such a way that it couldn't be like a wishmaster wishmaster situation because he doesn't know how command works, and the DM also doesn't know how command works. Right. But but uh, he ordered the dude to disrobe. <laughs> I might allow that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I would allow that too, because that's just really funny. But yeah, yeah. No, the dude just takes off his clothes, which means, you know, I mean, I would say this robe doesn't include your weapon. No, it right? would be you try to take off your armor and it takes longer than yeah. a round to do that for almost everything, which is why I would allow it. It wouldn't do anything. Yeah. yeah. Like you could probably... No. But yeah. The dude apparently takes off his clothes in one turn. Which that's uh that's, that's cool. fast. I mean to be fair the dude isn't wearing um the dude's a rogue, so he isn't wearing a full chain armor, so even then leather armor has to be unstrapped. Yeah. Huh. Dude dude just apparently has um uh speedy speedy disrobing. <laughs> I guess he's... I guess he's used to that. <laughs> I guess. Maybe. Like, I'm just thinking, like, if I had to get naked, could I do it in six seconds? Yeah. I, I could. But... I mean, wearing normal clothes, yeah, sure. Yeah. But, like, my normal clothes is just, you know, shirt and pants and underwear, sure. Yeah, it's not armor. But if I'm... But if I'm, like... If this is, like outfit that I wear have, like for a wedding, right? And like I'm dressed up. There's the bra, there's the shapewear, there's the tights. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to get out of those in six seconds. No. Now, if I was in like a suit, I probably couldn't get out of that in six seconds. See? And that's normal wear. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fun... Good job, Javron. It's an interesting... It's an interesting group. Playing their... Um... Game. I just, I just enjoy the image of... Rogue being told to disrobe, but he's just like, Okay! Mm -hmm. And he's just naked. So now his armor class is 10. Five, I guess, because he's naked. I don't know. What's, your, what's a human's natural armor class? Uh, if you have no dexterity bonus, it's... Well, ten is the base. Wait, no. No, hang on. In fifth edition, it might be eight. Ten has always been the base, but in 5e, it could be eight. Um. Nah, that's fine. It's 10 too? Alright. Oh, H the DC base. My bad. It's you or me. Man, they keep making those reflex saves. Yeah. 
Yeah, only have a plus three, three bonus, but yeah, they're getting good rolls. Alright, I have an idea. It's called Fascinate. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the uh, hole. Correct. Get in the kiln. Smear them. Smear them. Yeah, that's fair. Whatever you do, don't get You're in the right. kiln. Understood. Immediately gets into the kiln. Well, I said, don't get in the kiln. Oh, I, I heard get in the kiln, so... Ugh. You people need to learn to hear better. Just an Auntie Donna sketch. <laughs> Literally, I'm just quoting an Auntie Donna sketch. I figured. You're a nerd like that. Yes. You can stay there. You're getting in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Have you checked your file? <laughs> up, hmm. up, up. Taking a look. Uh, you got a case of the hill giants. Mm -hmm. In in your butthole. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a serious case of uh giant in your butt. It's, it's a severe medical condition. Mm-hmm. How'd you get it up there? A lot of lube and faith. Yeah. Determination. Determination and whiskey. With a lot of thoughts and prayers, too. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're not. No. First conversation yet, chat? It could be more cursed. It could always be more cursed. Actually. Can I even target him? Boo! Nope. Thanks, Andrea. Let's get rid of the pit. Aw, oh, bullshit. They get to go immediately. Such horseshit. No, what? That's the op- what? You saw where I clicked! Yeah. I don't know what happened there. So mad. It's okay, bestie. But I'm so mad, though. You got this. You got this. You can do it. I believe in you. Meanwhile, let me honk you. Yeah. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> At your expense? Yes. Yeah. Always. <sighs> <laughs> One day, Bob. One of these days. <laughs> Girls, am I right? Like you need to hold them off until we finish the the ritual. You mean kill them all? Got it. Oh, I forgot to switch weapons. I don't like you! <laughs> he has opinions, yeah. Well, that's actually quite funny. I have opinions! We'll have two waves of attacks. First against two giants, and then fight against three of them. Yep. Calling this a fight is a little generous. What is this then? 
A beating? A slaughter? No. Because we're beating the giants easily? Yeah, it's it really hasn't been that bad yet. Okay, I am Apparently absolutely- Arden's a really capable fighter. Oh. Oh. I actually don't know where he went. He like went off that way. You're not a threat. You're an obstacle. Oh. Jesus Christ. Who wrote your lines, buddy? I have serious issues with them. He's very edgy. Don't expect a flowery lament. Alright, switch weapons back. Once again, I'm absolutely close enough to attack him. This is horseshit. Out of the way. That is the way. Honk shoo. Honk shoo. Who started the honk shoe nonsense? What do you mean? The, the honk shoe, honk shoe noises. Oh. Who started I'm it? I think that's a Looney Tunes thing, or at least old-timey, uh, cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for becoming dead. I don't think they want to become dead. I don't think they have a choice. But, that's not very fair. Nope. No. Oh, I can't proc it repeatedly. That would have been great. I am about to rearrange your <laughs> That was always gonna be good, I think. God damn it. Alright, healing time. I want her, thank you. Uh, oh, we've got some magic. It's a chain shirt, it is great for her. Uh, do we have the heels? Oh, yeah, we do. See what these idiots had on them. Mm. Nary a scimitar among them. Mm -hmm. Boots of the rat. The wearer of these boots is wounded. They gain a plus 30 enhancement bonus to speed. Sick. So, when you're wounded, I guess that's past a certain threshold of damage. You're immune to attacks of opportunity and have expeditious retreat. Nice. Who would be able to make the best use of that?
Probably him. Alright. So... Well, now let's go up here and get whatever that is. Want a fireball? And a uh, belt of giant strength. Hell yeah. just leave through here? I didn't see them summon animals. Let's go back and see what's up with the ritual. I guess we just leave. It was kind of anticlimactic. Anything worthwhile up here? into the giant's camp, I guess. Yeah, punch that deer. We could just kill them. Get him. Oh, get murdered. What's up, Bob? Being told to just get murdered. Hmm. It's what's happening, but you know. Yeah. I'm cool, huh? I love Fascinate. It's so good. Alright. 
Damn it, Ricard, you can't roll for shit today. Why are you so slow right now? Oh, I guess you're just slow. Alright. We got this. It is keeled the fuck over. Wow, he punched the shit out of that deer. A wild deer appears, all right. Genuinely hilarious to me how he just like punches it 10 20 feet away from him There Get wrecked Get your shit canned, idiots. <laughs> ah, here he is. Yeah, that's ice powers. Oh, he blocked our exit. I'm not sure that was wise of you, Barag. Alright, 16th level, that's a real problem. AC is not bad, so that's good. Uh, Ice Missile Barrage. Uh, cold Base Magic Missiles. Okay, then. Well, that's bad. Uh, Medium range ice cascade bounces off them and strikes a secondary target within 20 feet. Okay, these are really good. Cross barrier, yeah. Just covers himself in 
ice. What are his saves? 22, 7, and 10. Alright, that's fine. Take a look at my judgments. Also, I have my Bane ability. Where is it? Okay, so we've got a couple of us intimidated. His immunity to flanking is going to be a problem. That's not what I meant. But hideous laughter saves us again. Get fucked. Actually, he's probably got ice resistance, doesn't he? No, I don't think he does. Despite it all. Alright then. Ah, uh, too far. Literally yucking it up. It's you or me. There we go. A shivering shard of ice appears from the giant's lifeless body. You there, Bob? I think Bop is AFK for the moment. Guess I'll just read the lines for now. <laughs> I am pleased to announce that the Giant's culinary research in the realm of humanoids has been terminated. Now we need to decide who will carry the shard. It's so... sharp! Yes, one of us will have to take it. Hoping we'll pass along the giant's taste for human meat. So, I was thinking about this and what I should do. And it feels like it could go two ways generally. Either... It would be better to pile them all on one character, because even having a shard of the Demon Lord in you gives him power over you. Or, there's a threshold. 
at which you don't want to cross, lest he be able to take control of you. I've already divided them by putting the first one we found in myself instead of Sendry. So I think I'm going to continue that path and hope I was right. Rakarth, the tears. With a grim nod, Rakarth grabs the shard, wincing in pain. What a wicked thing! And we've leveled up. Let's see. Uh, nobody has Bless yet, so I think we're going to take that. Pretty overdue. Well, I guess we had a Cleric, but I'm not using her because she's kind of kind of terrible. Um, communal Resist Energy could be a nice get. I get two. Play skin. Yeah, let's get communal resist energy. See, ring light's not bad, but we haven't seen undead or beans yet. We probably will, but I don't know if it'll be the next area. <sighs> Pardon me. I guess I could get the DV Entanglement or Prayer. So Remove Curse and Remove Disease are good too. Huh. Delay Poisano. Yeah, I mean, Delay Poison just makes you fun functionally immune to poison. Mystery Seeker is okay, but we're not really interested in spreading him out, spreading out his skills any further. Focus Attack Confused is okay, like decent. I don't know what kind of terrains we're going to be dealing with, so... Train Master may not be great. Take Trailblazer so that he can keep his distance from enemies. Or slow reactions. Yeah, slow reactions are probably better. Stop enemies from taking attacks of opportunity. So what's Barely Noah.
So a fourth level spell. Enervation, Dragon's Breath, Rainbow Pattern, Stone Skin, Wall of Fire. <sighs> oh, Acid Bit. Good shit. Now, what does my Slayer want? Always take bleeding attack, if nothing else. We have Uncanny Dodge, Slowing Strike, Painful Strike. Okay, so I Seek Attack has its speed halved for 1d4 rounds. Oh, it extends it too. That's not bad. Uncanny Dodge might be a good choice, but we're not really high on decks. Kind of a weirdly well-armored Slayer. <laughs> I like Painful Strike. Like anything that can get me non-magical sources of status ailments is nice. Beat Boot Robot. So third level spell. It's crushing despair, but we already got confusion. Not that they do the same thing, but I don't want everything to just be will save spells. Virgin finale could be I. Oh, fear. But that's a will save spell. <laughs> Thundering drums will give us an AoE with her at least. In addition to Storm Call. Attack of Opportunity is an immediate action against an opponent who hits the Castigator with a melee attack as long as the creature is within reach. Damn. Forgot about that. <laughs> and 
and an ice power. What do you have? Same abilities? <laughs> no, it looks like we have a few different ones. Or not. I don't even know anymore. Yeah, they're all the same. Of your opponents of uh, what little life force they have left and give it to your allies or closest to death. Once per round, when you deal negative energy damage, your living ally with the fewest hit points heals a number of hit points, you go to 1d6 per shard. Got it. Why don't you deal damage with a ranged weapon from bow, crossbow, or a thrown weapon? The projectile splits into a number of fragments, equal to one plus your number of shards. Nice. I'm taking that. Okay. Turn off her bardic music. Oh, it's already off. Weird. Dear Hide Scribbles. These are the words of the chieftain Rosk, uh, as written by Ingrid of the White Feather Clan. <laughs> or Ingen of the White Feather Clan. I'm uh, Rzak Rosk, the greatest and mightiest chieftain of the giants. The younglings. Uh, must know the good deeds and wise thoughts of the great chieftain. So I commanded my men to capture a slave who can write. He will write the history of our tribes and how we became the strongest of all. Once, we were not as strong. Other tribes hunted us, chased us away from food good spots, caught and ate our hunters. We had to retrieve, retreat further and further into the mountains to survive. There were no large beasts and no humans. It was a hungry life. In the mountains we found bones! Very old bones! Oh, welcome back, Bob. You okay? Yeah. Just in time for bones! Oh, I did some shenanigans. Ah. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, my cat. I love her. Anyway. Yeah. When I started to dig through the bones to find the tastiest one, they spoke to me. Mm -hmm. They spoke without words, in a voice like a very, very fierce snowstorm. The voice promised strength, glory, and lots of food. I, I really wish that said lots of bones. I go very fierce. What now? They spoke without words, in a voice like a very, very fierce snowstorm. Oh. A sharp right. shard of ice came out of my bone and sank into my hand. It changed everything. Bones. Bone. I am lucky now. I always know where to catch a deer. And where to catch a human. My nose always points the right way. Now we never have to... Now we are never hungry. I was born mighty. I killed my father to become chieftain. Mm -hmm. My father was a head taller than me. He could rip a deer in two with his bare hands. But I strangled him and feasted on his guts. I was strong before. But now I am the strongest. Rask is the mightiest, the greatest. We come back from the mountains. We have the best hunting spots now. Other tribes fear us. Mm -hmm. But I still hear the voice. And I have dreams about ancient times. Now I know that these were the bones of a frost giant. Those giants were very big and scary. They all died long ago. Mm. Hold on. They serve the Why Bone Lord! So Why is it so weirdly capitalized? <laughs> because I don't know, but it's funny. 
They serve the Bone Lord! Who lives in the far mountains. <laughs> they drew his mark in the blood of their enemies. A three-fingered hand. He gave them his power, and now it is mine. He can give more. We only need to serve him well. I don't know what the Bone Lord wants. I give him sacrifices, and I draw his mark in blood, too. But it is not I'm enough. Gonna... So stupid. I'm gonna make a D&D character named Bone Lord. Or, or worships the Bone Lord, but insists that it's Bone Lord! No, no, his name is Bone Lord. Okay. Like, he just calls himself... Like, he, like his name is Derek. <laughs> he calls himself... In his eye, Bone Lord! <laughs> then we will become big and strong like the frost giants we will eat anyone we want and the bone lord will descend from the far mountains freeze the world and rule over the frozen wastes these things are scary to talk about but I have seen the dreams I know that this must be so this is our glorious story the young can read it now Rask talked a lot. Rask's throat is sore. Rask, I don't know, need to eat something. Did the slave finish writing? Desna, please save me! Uh, no, 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 no! Uh, poor guy. Ripperoni. Anyway, the animals attacked as a distraction, but then we just killed all the giants anyway. Hilariously easy. I don't think any deer died. Amazing. Uh, then we found the chieftain and just, like, mm -hmm. curb stomped him. Amazing. I love how you're just zooming. Woo! So now, so now has all the uh, Kelids escaped? I guess. I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to go. Does the journal say anything? I mean, it's got to be on this map. That's true. This looks promising. Verdant Caves. There we go. Thank you. You have restored our tribe's freedom and saved many lives. Take this as a token of our gratitude. Mm. See ya! What'd he do? Uh, Amulet of Nature Summons. Natural oh. Armor plus three. Once per day, Amulet grants aware the ability to summon a CR7 Sacred oh. Stag. Sick. But yeah, uh... We were able to open up a way to the ancient fame oh. now that we have Amazing. The, the shard. That's like the deal. Once we enter one of these portals, we're there until we get the shard. A also, shard I, the cave. also, I gave the second shard to uh, Rickarth. Sweet. <laughs> Snoozle. Alright, once we get through whatever waits us on the other side mm -hmm. here as far as plot, we'll save and call it here. Mm-hmm. Ah! Yeah. Oh. 
After these awful smelly caves, it's wonderful to see snow. Ah, it's unsettling here too, but at least the air is fresh. Mm -hmm. I don't share your joy. After seven decades in case and ice, this freshness doesn't cheer me up too much. Yeah. You might not smell as bad here, but there are fragments of bone everywhere. And even the wind seems to be whispering filth. Let's go to the tavern. How did this tribe manage to be captured by the giants? How did we manage to be captured by the cultists in the theater? Escaping captivity is hard, but ending up in it is easy. I'm not saying okay. that. That's stupid. But he's lame, though. I know. I can confirm. When faced with violent coercion, even the smartest, most charming and talented individuals quickly realize that they have no choice but to obey. Are you talking about yourself? <laughs> has been rejected. Figure it out yourself. She means that, yes. That would have been better without the second sentence. Hmm. Just your request for clarification has been rejected. <sighs> Think we did the right thing? Of course we did. Did you see how thin and emaciated they all were? Oh, even with the help of their ancestors, they would have had a hard time fighting the giants. And so, they broke free and avoided unnecessary casualties. Sociological background. For many Kellet tribes, honor is no less important than life. They walked away from the giants alive. But how will they carry on with their lives, knowing that their kin remain unvenged? I don't know, I feel like I avenged them pretty fucking hard. Yeah, why why would they be unavenged? They are dead. I don't get it. Yeah. Do you have to do the fighting yourself? Some barbarians would think that way, yeah. Mm. They'll manage. Wounded pride is nowhere near as dangerous as spilled guts. Mm. True. Right. Yeah, that'll be the next one, but that's for Thursday. Yeah. Next time I want to go a little oh. quicker and try to get through maybe two shards. If at all possible. Mm. But yeah. Consult the walkthrough. This has been a fun uh, little DLC story so far. Oh, FYI, yeah. I recommend going back to the inn and talk to party members. Yes, that's the plan. But that will be next time. As mm -hmm. it's getting late and I want to finish... Uh, I want to eat. Yes, yes. Okay, there's a minute there. Your servants. We have, like... Several... Okay, the Frozen Lord's Lair, Unworthy Servants, and Traitor were like... Th those two were the... the ones that... the main activity that we got for the, that, that area, right? Yeah. So... A Soul Reborn, Wicked Woods, Lost Soul... No. Huh. That's like... Yeah, five more? Yeah, I figured one per shard, roughly. Yeah. Roughly two chapters per shard, probably. Yeah. Well, next time we'll definitely yeah. start with the... Um... Uh... Mm -hmm. Strategy guide open so that we don't dig around as much. Yeah. Much yeah, appreciated, by the way, Bob. Yeah. Always appreciated. Just like your support over at patreon.com slash great Canadian guy. That was a good segue. Me. Mm -hmm. Um, my, uh, special thanks, of course, to my producers who contribute $5 or more a month to the Patreon. 
Aeon Scipio, Jalzir, Midnight Saber, Keegan, Jornvar, Talipic, Vivation, Emerald Embers, Dark Savant, Bob Dino, Zombie Fighter 89 on Twitter, Jocko, The Rock Bender, Sid the Squid, and Bossim El Wakil. Any uh, thoughts? Anything you want to add, Bob? Yes, the world is the world is bright. There we go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>